Shakur Stevenson is set to face a new opponent after William Zapata pushed their fight to February of 2025. Moreover, Eddie Hearn has told how a fight between Shakur and Gravanta Tank Davis can finally happen. Shakur went on a rant when he admitted that his fight with Zapita wasn't in the works anymore. He posted, Zapita pushed it back. The fight will happen in February. He also admitted that he had approached Vasyl Lomachenko, but the IBF champion declined the shot at unification. Stevenson revealed in one of the posts stating, Loma just recently said no again. Shakur then stressed the fighter's agency to take the fights, cutting across the promotions, and continued, Whatever gone get me paid the most, and make the most sense I'm down. This came after Stevenson had turned to his social media handle and disclosed that Zapita had pushed back the date. It was already clear that Oscar De La Hoya and Zapita had other options too, and it could be a stylistically tough fight for the latter. So, Golden Boy Promotions and Zapita pushed the fight. But the fight was still on, and since he wanted to stay active in between, Stevenson picked up Joe Cordina. In another separate post, Shakur pointed out the past weight cut issues of Cordina, but praised him as a fighter, and again highlighted Zapita's reluctance to take up the fight. Stevenson added, Zapita don't want to fight just yet, so whoever it is gone, be they gone get this work. This development might come as a blow to Stevenson's fans, who wanted him to exchange punches with an aggressive fighter. The 2016 Olympics medalist first chased a fight with Gravanta Davis, and then made peace with Zapita as an alternative. But with the Mexican fighter out of frame, he is again back to square one. But all is not lost. Eddie Hearn recently laid down the path for Stevenson to bag the tank fight, and it goes through Zapita. Eddie said it would adjust him to an aggressive and volume punching style, and help set up the fight with Davis. Shakur is in a good spot at the moment. There's a lot of people talking about him. He's gonna have a few offers. Hopefully he comes with matchroom boxing. But it's got to work for us and him. But when you look at Tank's options, the only thing he can really do is move to 140 pounds. If I'm Shakur, I chase the William Zapita fight. I keep building my brand into the Tank fight next year. Eddie Hearn also revealed that he had talked with Joe Cordina about him moving up to 135 to challenge Shakur Stevenson for his WBC lightweight title. However, Hearn says that nothing is done and the fight is in the discussion stage for now. I've spoken to Joe about fighting Shakur Stevenson. Joe's up for it, but he also understands the challenge. Ideally, moving up a weight division, you'd probably want an easier fight than Shakur Stevenson, but Joe is at the age where he wants to be involved in it. Joe Cordina also came up in an interview and made fun of Shakur Stevenson calling out Tank Davis. Cordina said that he doesn't see anyone who can face Tank Davis and then trolled Stevenson for having unnecessary confidence. I, I'll be honest, I don't see anyone beating Tank. And I would not see anyone. Well, I'm at the weight now, so I might just throw a lucky dig in for the kick. <laughs> but nah, he, uh, listen, he's, um, I just think he's, I just think he got, since he beat the likes of um, Leo Santa Cruz, his confidence has just gone through the roof. Now he's, talk, he's, he's talking the shit like everyone else is now. You get me? He never used to talk like that, but he's he's giving it. Then he, he box Roly, and he's giving him some. And yeah, I'm I'm a massive fan of him. Do you get me? So. A fight between Shakur and Joe could be interesting. However, everyone wants to see Shakur take on big names like Tank Davis. Shakur himself said that his fight with Davis would be the biggest fight of the decade. Shakur said, Every hood in America is going to want to watch that fight. Stevenson believes when the two finally do clash, it will be bigger than simply another blockbuster fight. He added, It's kind of bigger than boxing, I guess you could say, because of the history and everything that went on. All the smoke fight, it's hard to even speak on it just because of the fact that we got a fight. Such a super battle would pit two undefeated lightweight world champions in their prime against each other, as Davis holds the WBA title and Stevenson owns the WBC belt. Stevenson has no doubt in his mind that the bout will happen, hinting that it's just a matter of when at this point. I know it's going to happen. I'm the best, he's the best. So when you have two guys that's the best, how can you not fight? Only way you can not fight is one of them guys ain't like that and one of those guys go off to lose or somebody takes an L. But I think with both of us, we're both fighters that's really good fighters, and on that level. He added that the fight can happen whenever, noting both men are ready for it. It can happen next. It can happen next year. Whenever he say, let's fight, that's when it's going to happen. Former cruiserweight champion turned boxing pundit Tony Bellow had his say on the 135 LLBs division. In a new post on X, he has said he believes that there is one man who will be left standing when all is said and done, and that's Stevenson. He posted, Shakur Stevenson will be the last one standing out of all the prospects and world champions.
Oscar De La Hoya said that Shakur Stevenson is currently the best boxer in the world, despite him getting criticized for his style. Oscar stated, I don't think anybody will get in the way of that fight. I'm Zapita's promoter, and I actually want to make that fight. I think Shakur, right now, skill-wise, is probably the best fighter on the planet today. Tremendous skills, but he has to be able to sell tickets. There is some truth to what Oscar is saying, as Stevenson's last two fights against Artem Harit Union and Edwin De Los Santos weren't entertaining at all, to say the least. In fact, in his last performance against Harut Yunyan in front of his home crowd, he was greeted with boos and several fans left the boxing match midway. Therefore, many fans are demanding a change in his offensive approach to balance out his impregnable defense. Oscar further added, His boxing style is not that friendly to sell tickets, but I think that William Zapita versus Shakur Stevenson is a huge fight. It will happen. I think the only one in the way of making that fight is me, and I'll tell you one thing, I will make that fight. On the other hand, Stevenson's compatriot in the lightweight division, Gervonta Davis, is a knockout artist. Aptly named Tank, with 28 knockout wins in 30 fights, he unleashed his punches packed with devastating power once he has figured his opponents out. Some would say the two opposing styles would make for a great matchup. However, for rising featherweight sensation Bruce Carrington Jr., Shakur needs to up his game before he gets into the ring against G. Davis. When Carrington sat down with Jorge Jaysmuth of Mill City Boxing, Jaysmuth asked Carrington if the contest between the two fighters had the potential to become a huge PPV attraction. The 27-year-old Brownsville, Brooklyn native, replied with a resounding no. Bruce Carrington, who has been a sparring partner of Tank for a few years now, largely held Stevenson to be the reason why the fans of the Sweet Science wouldn't tune in for his fight. According to him, Stevenson has to come out of his defensive shell and let his hands go in his upcoming performances to warrant a fight with Gervonta Davis. He said, Right now, no. I feel because these guys are young, they have time to build it up, and because how the audience has been taking Shakur's last performance, the interest of it is low. For it to be big again, Shakur has to have exciting performances, at least back-to-back -back performances. But Stevenson still has the respect of a good amount of boxing purists, and that includes colleague Joe Cordina. While speaking to Boxing Scene, the Welsh wizard praised Stevenson and dispelled his detractors. He stated, It's mad, because I see loads of people giving him stick. But if you love the art of boxing, you can't knock it. How can you knock that? He hits and don't get hit. He's smart. He's one of the best defensive fighters there is right now. So I don't understand what they're saying. I genuinely don't get it. It's people that just don't see the art of boxing. All they want to see is knockouts. Jorge Linares also feels that Gervonta Davis stops Shakur Stevenson. He stated, If Gervonta is fighting with Shakur Stevenson, it's more of an easy fight. I like Shakur, but he has so many crazy things right now. For me, it's more exciting to see Lomachenko with Gervonta. If that fight happens with Shakur, it's easy. With Shakur, Davis can do whatever he wants to do. Maybe decision, maybe KO. If that fight with Shakur can happen, I think Gervonta can kill this guy. Robert Garcia, who currently trains pound-for-pound -pound star Jesse Bam Rodriguez, among others, believes Davis is unbeatable at lightweight. Garcia said, he's unbelievable, man. I think Tank at this point is unbeatable at the lightweight division against any of the world champions. I think he's the top guy right now in that division. He had a great performance. He has the timing, power, accuracy. Everything is great, man. He's a perfect fighter right now. Pauli Malignaghi has given his backing to Stevenson and thinks the Newark man would get the job done. He stated, he is the best pure boxer in the sport. Nobody can touch him. Nobody can beat him, including elite levels guys, said Malignaghi when speaking to Pro Box TV on Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson would beat Gervonta Davis and make it look pretty easy. Davis's power is always a wild card, but Shakur Stevenson is way too good. Coach Larry Wade says that Gervonta Davis versus Shakur Stevenson is too big of a fight to not happen. He picks Tank to win the fight if it happens in the future. You know, I hate to say it won't happen. I feel like that's too big of a fight for it not to happen. Um, I think the, the length of the time of when that fight happens helps him determine the outcome of that fight. Uh, if I had to pick someone today, but of course I would pick Javante Davis and, and the main reason because he has everything there is including experience. Shakur Stevenson is extremely talented as well and very gifted. It's not going to be easy fight for either guy, but if I had to pick one guy today, 
It'll be Javante Davis. In an interview with the It Is What It Is podcast, Floyd Mayweather, who guided a large portion of Tank's career before a bitter split, singled out the two stars as the best in the division for very different reasons. He stated, You got guys fighting between 130, 135, and 160. They stacked around that area. As of right now, the two guys. The biggest puncher at 135 would probably be Gervonta Tank Davis, but the most skullful fighter at 135 would be, hands down, Shakur Stevenson. Davis has beaten all but two opponents inside the distance with some of the most well-timed and devastating power punches in the sport. Stevenson has just a 45% knockout to win ratio, but has, by the numbers, the best defense in the sport. Asked if skills were enough to be the best without the power to keep opponents honest, Mayweather said yes. It's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher, but he was very exciting, very tough, and he fought everybody. Shakur's trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. He's asking, can he fight the best? I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully we can come together and I can get him to the next level with the fights he needs that he wants. But Jarrett Hurd believes that one could take Tank's power in the 135 division. Whether it's Lomachenko or Stevenson, Hurd says that no one is safe from Tank's outrageous power. Can anybody take that power at 135, in your opinion? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, man. If you look back on PVC, where everybody's hitting that punch machine, Deontay Wilder, Andy Reid, all of them. Tank got the highest joint for a reason. Your man got three. Jaron Boots Ennis was asked about how a fight between the two might go and, like many, found it a hard one to call. He stated, That's a great fight, you know. I think that's 50-50. Two great guys, two sharp guys. That's a great fight. I really think it's 50-50. They both great fighters. We're not gonna know till they get in the ring. That's a great match. Shakur is sharp. He knows how to box. He's technical. Tank. He's sharp. He can box. He's got power. He can do everything. I think that's gonna be a sharp type of fight. Teddy Atlas believes that Tank Davis is the only guy that can decipher Shakur Stevenson's defense of style because Shakur Stevenson is that difficult because of his style because of his ability because of his eyes because of his you know his legs that his hand speed the way that he controls range Tank Davis is the only guy that I can see that could possibly decipher that style and beat Shakur Stevenson Shakur's style of fighting makes him harder to hit, but Tim Bradley believes that the only guy that could give a challenge to Shakur is none other than Tank Davis. He stated, The only guy that I think can give Shakur a run for his money is Tank. The only guy, man, because his IQ is right there with him and he got that power, that one-punch power to end the fight. If he catch fucking Shakur, bro, Shakur ain't never been hit, but if he catches him, bro, it could be it. But Bradley also thinks that if Davis tries to rush in on Shakur, he'll be torn apart by him. He added, But Shakur's gonna make sure that don't happen. And and that's the concentration that he has, he's going to have the concentration all night and he's going to take limited chances. It's going to be a boring ass fight, but Shakur should be able to pick it off. And if Tank starts to rush in and starts to get ahead of himself, Shakur going to pick him apart. In an interview with Cigar Talk, the recently crowned heavyweight champion Claressa Shields said Stevenson was top dog. She stated, Shakur is the best. To me, he's better than Tank, better than Devin, better than Ryan Garcia. He's better than Teofimo. Shakur is my number one when it comes to those weight classes. He is me. The four-weight world champion then predicted that Stevenson beats Tank and said he has faced tougher opposition on his route to lightweight. I'm not going to ever dismiss a fighter. I think Tank got some great skills and hard-ass punches. He's so explosive, but so is Shakur. Shakur has, for me, faced harder challenges than Tank. When you look at the guys Shakur fought, their records and style, Tank cannot say he's the best if he knocked out Ryan and Raleigh. Who the fuck is a Raleigh and who the fuck is a Ryan? Those guys would never get in the ring with Shakur. He further added, people say it only takes one, you're right, but when you're only getting hit 5 or 6%, I'm just rocking with Shakur for that fight, and he's gonna be smart. Shakur's strong too, he's fast too. When he's got something to prove, he fights to a higher level. Evans Tobler believes that Davis is the king at 135 pounds, and a fight between him and Shakur would be very interesting. He says that Davis is the current face of boxing, and he and his team is doing a great job of keeping him on the top of the division. There's only one, and that's Javante Davis. Everybody else, they're coming up the ladder. So I'd like to see him and Shakur fight. And then we could, you know, we can really say who's the best. But at this moment, he's the best at 135. And I think he's the face of boxing as well. He's exciting, he's explosive. And I think this, this Javante Davis is hard to beat.
When asked about how a fight between Tank and Shakur would play out, Tobler said, Well, it would be one hell of a fight, but we don't know. We do know one thing about Gervonta, that his IQ is out the ceiling. They don't give him much credit for that, and he can punch too. And then you got Shakur Stevenson, who's one hell of a boxer. We haven't seen him get punched because you can't hit him, so it's one hell of a fight. Shakel Daly says that Gervonta Davis only needs one punch to get rid of Shakur Stevenson. He believes that Tank will be able to hurt Shakur in the later part of the fight. Uh, so I feel as though he can get your corner later around. If he can get your corner later around, I'm about to say Tank really has like that one one type of power. Like all you really need is one punch. Shakur, he gets hit, but he don't get hit a lot. So it'll be like a back and forth type fight. So what are your thoughts about this? Who do you want to see Shakur face next? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.